hey Sam, uh, Grant here. I honestly could not be bothered typing uh, and it would be much easier for me to express or help you uh, via this video. So, um, excuse messy hair, um, but uh, yeah, this is literally um, just, uh, what's the word? Spontaneous, not even spontaneous, whatever. Anyways, let's do it. So, I can understand for your confusion. Um, see, the, the problem with starting, you want to start your calories as high as possible simply because if you start your calories in the beginning too low, for in, in your case it was 1200, when you hit a plateau, which eventually will happen, like that's just the way it is, eventually you will hit a plateau, whether that's in two weeks time or in four weeks time, then what are you going to do to, to, you know, uh, break through the plateau. If you're already at 1200 calories, does that mean you drop down to 1100 calories? And then again, you stick to that for a while and progress happens, but then you'll hit a plateau again. So then what do you do? You drop down to 1000 calories, then 900, 800. You see how like it, you just paint yourself into a corner. But if you start on the highest amount of calories possible while still being able to lose body fat, even if it's like 0.5 kilos per week, 0.5 kilos per week over the course of the year equals about 25 kilos in weight loss, right? So if you start your highest point of calories, so let's just say it's over 2,000, and you can still lose 0.5 kilos per week, then when you hit that plateau, guess what? You only have to drop to, let's say, 1,900. And then when you hit that plateau, then you have to drop to like, let's say 1800. You can see how it's not so aggressive from the beginning and it gives you some room to play with every time you do hit a plateau. So hopefully this makes sense. So that's why you stay high, your calories as high as possible while still being able to lose even just a little bit of body fat, even for these 0.5 kilos per week. Hope that was helpful.